Um, I don't know if it's recording or not, motherfucker. Show me. It should be. That's probably gonna fall. That is probably gonna fall. Hang on. Stupid screen doesn't stay on. Oh my god, you're so. Okay, whatever, bro. Do I look hot right now? It's okay, I think I do. Whatchamacallit, bro? I, uh, so I have this fat ass camera that I never use really, and I'm not too sure why. It's just been sitting, like, by my bed for. I don't know, I haven't used it in months. So, okay, yeah, you can go, bro. You can go, bro. I haven't used it in a couple months. And, uh, I mean, I bought it. It was like $1,400 or something. So I figured, you know, now that I'm actually kind of growing like a little community, fan base, whatever you want to call it, the Koi's, that's the one of the names that y'all suggested for me to call my supporters the Koi's. I kind of like it. Um, Y'all have already given me a couple of nicknames, one of them being Sumi. It's kind of, all right, whatever, I don't really. Um, but yeah, I guess y'all are called the Koi's now, so I guess I could start using this camera for like, kind of like, not really vlogs necessarily, but just, I don't know, like fucking, just to talk to y'all. I mean, I have the mics, too. I've had these for a while, too, I, but they've just been sitting in my room, like, I don't know. I just never, I never thought to use them consistently. When I bought them, my thought process was I wanted to be one of those, like, YouTubers who would just, like, go out in public and, like, just fuck around and with people or just, like, just be annoying. I don't know. I wanted to be one of those. But then, turns out I'm pretty antisocial, so yeah, that was uh, probably not the best uh, route for me to take with YouTube, so I just uh, kind of stuck with reacting to music. I'm sorry, this, this road is really fucking annoying and loud, so I guess I'm going to just start using this camera whenever, just whenever I feel like you know, I want to talk about something or uh, get something off my mind, off my chest, which, you know, is a lot of the time because I have, I have a uh, severe yapping problem and I think I've developed it over streaming, through streaming, because all I do is just sit down and yap with everybody that watches me. So other than that, I mean... Things are going pretty good, uh, if you care. <laughs> Things are going pretty good in my life overall, generally. In general, I think most things are okay right now. They're good in terms of, you know, my content and, uh, you know, what I want to achieve with that. YouTube, Twitch, all that stuff, the Patreon, which you should sub to. For $10 a month, you can get the full VODs, unedited, unmuted, so you can hear everything. All the songs that we react to, all the games that I play, all the people that I talk to on Xbox, everything. Yeah, it's all on there. The blocked YouTube videos, the videos that I took down a long time ago, they're up on Patreon, so definitely go check those out. Now, everything is pretty good so far with the content. Um, but as far as like my personal life, which I don't really like to, uh, share too much on or about to the internet, I feel like it's not the best, but at the same time, you know, I, I want to be able to connect with y'all and just talk to y'all about my well-being and my status relationship wise and stuff like that. Because I am single, I am single right now, so, um, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily, oh, that might be a lie, I guess I am kind of looking, I am looking around right now, um, looking for a nice wife, 
I'm trying to find a wife right now. That's my uh, that's my primary thing. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I'm one of those people that like. Even though I've lived in a place for so long, I still need my map to like, I, I still need the blue line, or, or else I might end up somewhere where I do not know completely. But yeah, I think, is this the recording, bro? This is the problem with this screen. It doesn't show me. Okay, it is, cool. I'm looking for a relationship right now. I'm on the apps. I'm on Hinge uh, and Bumble. Those are the two right now, but I've had a like, I guess some success, some a few matches, but nothing, no dates or anything has like uh, come out of that yet. So I don't know how much of a success that really is, but you know. Oh, fuck. Um, but yeah. It, I think it would be nice to have, you know, a girlfriend. I've never had a girlfriend before. Like, I've talked to people, situations, you know, situationships. Gone on a few dates with a few people. And, uh, yeah, nothing really came out of that, out of those dates. I got to know people, but then, you know, after that, we don't really continue. Just like... <gasps> We don't really continue talking after those dates for, I don't know, it's mainly, it's usually never me. You know that saying, it's not me, it's you? Oh wait, no, it's not you, it's me? No, it's definitely them. Okay, it is definitely them, bro. Because like, I'm cool, I'm chill, I'm, I'm down to get to know you. But every single time, like, my my dating history is, like, my luck with it is so fucking bad, bro. Like, I'll go on a few dates here and there with one person. They end up just not liking me for whatever reason. I go on another couple dates with some other person, and I get ghosted. I It's just like, bro, and this has happened more than, like four times ever since I've been here bro but the girls that did like you know want a relationship with me they were hoes so I didn't you know and I, I respect myself enough to not you know I had I had my fun I did I'm not gonna sit here and say that you know I didn't entertain it for a bit I did um, was it the best idea? It depends on, you know, how you view relationships and your life. For me, I just did it because I wanted experience. So, is that, you know, was that necessarily a good idea for me? In a sense, I guess it could have been, but in reality, Probably not, you know, I could have spent, I could have used that time better uh, to do, you know, anything else, <laughs> but I mean, it happened and I don't regret it. I don't live with regret. I don't, I don't like using that word. I regret doing this. I regret doing that because I don't, I don't really regret it. I, I look at everything as a, as a lesson and what I can learn from it and what I can, you know, choose to uh, apply to future situations, similar situations that I might have in the future. No regrets here, man. I mean, other than that, you know, okay, this guy's vaping. You need to stop vaping. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Okay, speaking of Hinge, I just got a message on Hinge saying that, uh, you know, we could call sometime. I'm funny. I make myself laugh. I make myself laugh a lot. <clears throat> if you can't make yourself laugh, then you're not funny, okay? Right now, I'm just headed to the gym. It is 12.20 p.m. For those of you who don't know, that's like lunchtime. 
when I was little, I used to think PM was always nighttime. So every time someone would say 12 PM, I thought they were talking about, I thought they were talking about the nighttime, but no, that's 12 AM. 12 AM is midnight. Okay. You stupid kid. So it is 12 20 PM. I'm headed to the gym. It's about like 20 minutes away. Motherfucker. I was about to die. I was about to get T-boned. <clears throat> but, um, don't do it, you fucking, you idiot. You did it. You did it. And I still allowed it. I should have hit you. You would have been in the wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, ja the gym, the gym that I go to is 20 minutes away. I mean, it's, it's, there's another gym. It's the same exact gym. It's Ellie Fitness. That's like right by my house. It's like five minutes away. But I like going to this further one because I just, I feel like I get a better workout there. It's bigger, there's more machines, um, it's more space. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just like a better vibe. And I actually like sweat, I actually sweat there, bro. I be dripping, my eyebrows are bushy, so my eyebrows be like generating sweat and shit. The one that's close to me is cool, but it's like not as big. You know, bigger is always better. Oh my god, that fucking smells, bro. Holy sheesh. Ugh. Your car stinks like shit, gang. You ever just be like walking behind somebody and they just fucking stink? Also, I want to start doing a thing on the channel where I go and um, it's called, I'm gonna call it Mikoye Mukbang. Okay? If you don't know what Mukbang is, uh, it's pretty much just like getting food and eating while like vlogging pretty much uh, You don't have to be like out and about I'll probably just do it in my car um, But I want to go to places food places that I haven't tried before and uh, Kind of you know expand my palate and just try different foods and shit uh, that way I can get some like more IRL content and uh, just be able to yap, yap with y'all about some food. This guy's car is so fucking annoying. I'm about to fucking rear end him, bro. I'm just kidding. I would never do that because then that would damage my car. About 10 minutes out from the gym, five miles away. Uh, this should be a good workout. Today is back and lats. Back and lats. I like doing like my splits on the, whoa, 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 hold up, no. I like, okay, splits are like how you divide your work up, your workouts throughout the week. So how you split up, you know, which body parts you work out during the week. They're called splits, okay? I don't be doing the splits on nothing, okay? I, I can't even do the splits. But I also can't throw it back despite, you know, what I say. But, you know, I, I just, I think it's funny. It sounds funny. Like, okay, whatever. But yeah, the way I split up my workouts is I, I do them by like rhymes. Like I, I, I like to rhyme. <laughs> I like to rhyme. So like today is back lats and traps, I think. Um, I haven't really figured them out for the legs, but for my other upper body day, it would be buys, tries, and buys, tries, and why well, I also throw in forearms, so I guess that doesn't really work with that buys and tries, but it's mainly buys and tries. And then um, chest, show, yeah, okay, that doesn't work either, but you know, that's just, it. okay, buys and tries, back and lats and traps, those, those are the ones that, you know, help me remember which days I'm on throughout the week so yeah and uh i know people say you know you got to give yourself rest days you have to have at least like two or whatever i only give myself one and that's on sunday because i like to uh i like to uh just chill on sunday so that is my one rest day uh throughout the week and then 
going back to Monday, I get back to it, whatever that may be. I hit the same thing every leg day. I hit, I always start off the same. I always start off with my hamstrings. Um, you know, I always start off with my hamstrings and I'll either do some quads or calves and then I'll do like the hip adduction or abduction. I'll do those. Uh, I usually do those at the end of the workout. Um, but yeah, kill my hamstrings first, then the quads, then the calves, then the hips. But I never specifically work out my glutes despite my massive gyat. Um, but yeah, I never really focus on just glutes. I feel like that's kind of uh, sus for me to do. I, that's not my goal in the gym is not to have a fat ass it's just genetics and I guess you know I just happen to I just happen to have gotten blessed you know what I'm saying so that's why I have a massive dumpy we can't all be as blessed as me guys chest and shoulders actually I like working on my chest I don't really like working on my shoulders but I do it because you know I don't want to be all like what is it disproportionate unproportionate I don't fucking know fucking English stupid language yeah I work out every every muscle group no I'm going it's a yellow light I'm going okay so yeah uh, if you have any recommendations for like food places in Texas that I should try because that is where I live as of right now uh, drop them in the comments and I will see how far they are because you know in Texas it takes like 20 minutes to get to the fucking grocery store so you know I'm not from Texas I'm actually from California so every time people bring up like Whataburger and like oh my god it's so good Whataburger is so good oh my god I just like bro like I don't know I don't think it's that good to be honest I don't I think uh, in and out is still the supreme leader when it comes to fast food burgers um, I think Five Guys is also pretty underrated, but there's not a lot of Five Guys out here. It's not as popular, I feel like. Every time the debate gets brought up between In-N-Out and Whataburger, it's always, oh, In-N-Out, you know, their fries are ass or their fries are shit or whatever. But it's like, bro, you don't go to In-N-Out for the fries, bro. Who the fuck says, yo, let's go to In-N-Out, I'm craving some fries. Nobody says that. If they do, then they should be locked away for a very long time. Okay? I agree, the fries aren't the best fries in fast food. Sure. I I'll let you have that. But you can't tell me that the burgers aren't better than what a burger, bro. Like, what a burger fries aren't even that, like crazy either bro the best fries are mcdonald's fries i i, I kind of like chick-fil-a fries too i like that they made them like a different shape i kind of like it. it's cool it's cool I, li I like looking at them but yeah no mcdonald's fries will always reign supreme in that category of potato but uh yeah in and out definitely superior there's no Del Tacos out here, which I'm very sad about because that was like my favorite fast food ever in California. Bro, the first time I moved here, the first time, when I first moved here, I went to a place and I tried to order a bean and cheese burrito and it was Tex-Mex, right? It was a Tex-Mex place. So I, I said, uh, yo, can I get a bean and cheese burrito, bro? Please? And you know what they brought me, bro? They brought me a tortilla filled with beans and then you know the nacho cheese that you put on top of your chips they fucking drowned that tortilla full of beans in nacho cheese they just layered the motherfucker and I was like bro I'm gonna throw up I didn't think you would give me a tortilla full of beans and then just nacho that motherfucker like I, that's not what I was envisioning when I said bean and cheese, bro. But then again, that's my fault. Not really, but you know, I've, I've bossed up since then, you know? I've uh, actually started caring about my 
protein intake. So now all the burritos I get have some like sort of chicken. I also, I wasn't a big fan of Chipotle uh, for a while, but now I can say that I am a proud Chipotle supporter. Okay, I am. I'll claim that. I'm a proud Chipotle supporter. So Chipotle yapper. My, uh, my go-to is they, I double wrap my burrito, I get chicken, I get white rice, no beans, cause fuck beans. And uh, I do a little bit of queso, but like queso, not like the fucking yellow ass, you know, nacho cheese, no, not that queso. I get that, and then that's it. Did I say cheese? I think I did. But yeah, no, fuck all the veggies and shit. No, I just want straight protein and, and uh, uh, a little bit of cheese on my shit. And chicken, I like chicken. But yeah, ever since I started working out, oh, funny story. When I first moved here, it's not really funny, it's sad. But when I first moved here, I was, I weighed 117. 117 pounds. I didn't have these gains, okay? Now I weigh about 140. So it just goes to show you, you know, how much, you know, I've actually been going to the gym and caring about my health and my protein intake and all that shit. Um, I'm taking it very seriously this year. This year I wanna just bulk. I wanna bulk the whole year. Fuck cutting. I don't need to cut, I'm already skinny. I'm just, I'm focused on just bulking the whole year, bro. I'm eating everything I see. But yeah, I'm just, I'm eating a whole bunch of shit, drinking a whole bunch of shit. Yo, I had a drink, bro, these yesterday. Not yesterday. Yes, yesterday I had this, but I'm, I think I'm starting to get addicted to these and it, it's a problem. So uh, if you guys could save me, then I would appreciate it. But I'm here at the gym, so I'm, I don't want to just look crazy talking in my car. I'm gonna get in there, do these back lats and traps, and then I'm gonna fucking sweat, and then I'm gonna take a shit, and then I'm gonna go home, and then I'm gonna stream. All right, cause it's Friday. We stream on Fridays, we try to stream on Saturdays, and we try to stream on Sundays. Sunday's the Super Bowl, so I might stream for a little bit later at night, and I'll stream on Monday. But yeah, today's Friday, so we are definitely streaming. So be there. All right, so uh, as you can't tell at all, because I'm not sweating at all, I finished my workout. I'm a sweaty being right now. And it is Friday, you know, it is Friday. So I think I deserve some canes. I'm gonna get that Kaniac combo. Okay. It was a good workout, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not trying to get copyrighted because that's all they like to do to my videos. I'd be lying if I said that I was the most like knowledgeable person when it comes to which workouts are better for certain body parts and stuff like that. Like me, myself and I are still figuring out like, you know, what kind of workouts I like to do, how long I like to do them for. You know, I'm still experimenting because I'm not, like I've been consistent in the gym. Like, don't get me wrong, I've been consistent, but you know, it's only been like, I've only been really consistent for like maybe the past two months. But so I'm still very new when it comes to figuring out my own style and what I like to do and what I see the most progress with when it comes to my workouts. So like even today, I usually have the set machines. Like I usually I usually know which machines I'm gonna use and just like stick to that plan. But today I wanted to kind of like switch it up and learn something new, try like different workouts with different, you know, equipment and stuff. You mother, you are so dumb bro. I swear, some of y'all cannot drive out here, bro. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try some different like workouts. So instead of just using like the machines, I went to the cables and like was fucking around with all the 
the attachments and shit that they have. So yeah, that was epic. I think I got a pretty good workout. I told y'all I was gonna get sweaty and I did. I still am. Uh, it was pretty empty for a Friday, but I mean, it, it is like, it's not even 2 p.m. yet, so. We were there for a cool, I don't know, like an hour and a half, something like that. On my days off from work, I really like to take my time with my workouts and make sure that like I'm satisfied with the pump and how I feel after my workouts are done. I really want to make sure that you know I feel good about it or else I'll literally like stay there for as long as I need to to feel satisfied. That's why I don't really have like a like a an amount a specific amount of sets or like time that I stay in the gym for. It's whenever I feel like I've gotten a good enough pump or a great pump because like I said, two months in the gym, I kind of know what I know what a good pump feels like, you know, for my for myself, for my body. So I'm able to kind of tell just like I don't I'm, I don't have to count my sets or my reps or anything like that. I can just tell by the feeling like, OK, I'm good off this. Let's go do the next thing, you know, but there's no specific amount of sets that, you know, that I stick to every time. I don't like doing that. I just, I like kind of going with the flow and listening to my body, feeling my body pause, but you know what I mean. So headed home now, it's almost 2 p.m. like I said, so I'll probably stream around like 4.30 or 5, because uh, it is Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some canes on the way home, just to kind of, treat myself on this fine weekend you know Super Bowl weekend now me personally I uh, I do want the 49ers to win no it's not because of the colors it's not because where they're from anything like that it's because of I don't know I just feel like in the past four years or so three four years it's just like the chiefs have always just been fucking like annoying annoyingly good you know what i'm saying so like i just want somebody else to win i feel like we've seen them in the super bowl patrick mahomes especially in the super bowl too many times in recent history i think it would be nice to switch it up and see you know somebody else win and also because the 49ers are the underdogs, I also really like rooting for the underdogs in like big sports events. I'm not a bandwagon. My team is the Dolphins, so RIP. But uh, hopefully next season, you know. Hopefully next season they step it up and just take absolute dumps. Shits. Big shits on everybody. Baseball, I'm a Dodgers fan. Soccer, I don't watch soccer like that. I'll watch like the World Cup, but I'm not a big like soccer person. Even though I played it, I was never like really into like professional soccer and I never really knew any of the good players or teams except for like Messi or not. You know, I'm, I'm basic. Um, yeah, I think my, my most, n the sport that I know the most about is definitely football, American football, not football, okay? football I uh I don't know I was thinking of like I was thinking about how a few of the times where I've tried to like approach girls in the gym women in the gym uh, because I am an adult uh, how it's gone for me in the past and uh, yeah so because of my not so good experiences with that I choose to now take my glasses off in the gym so that way everything is blurry everybody's face is blurry and I can't see anything except you know the machines that I'm using because I'm nearsighted so I take my glasses off I put them in my backpack and I just focus on my workout 
so that way I don't get distracted or like worried about, you know, if are there any girls watching? Are there any pretty girls watching? You know, ego lifting. I don't, no, I don't gotta worry about that when I'm blind, cause I can't see anything. So <laughs> that's my, it's my way of working around that. Uh, and this work has been, you know, helping me so far. I've gotten gains so far. But uh, I don't know. Once I do get a girlfriend, I think it would be fun to make some like gym content. Go to the gym. I don't know. I don't know how y'all would feel about, you know, that kind of content. Me and like somebody else, like a girl. I think it'd be fun. Cause I'm fu I'm a fun person to hang around. You know, it might not seem like it. But I am. I can be fun, okay? I just don't like to go to parties. I li I'm a homebody, so I don't I don't like going out too much. I'll go out, but like, what are we doing? Like, any like at what time are we? You know, I like to plan things. But then again, I also like going with the flow. It just depends on the, like who I'm with. You know what I'm saying? If it's my friends that I've known for a while, it's like okay, we can just go with the flow. You know, because at this point, we know that whatever we do, it's just going to be fun. Like, we, we just make it fun. And uh, I trust them. But if it's, like, somebody new, then I, you know, I like to to make plans and, like, stick to them. So, yeah. Oh, there's a police officer. Hello, sir. I'm on my way to Canes. Do not pull me over. Okay. You know, I haven't gotten pulled over once, ever. In my whole life, in my two decades of being, I've never gotten pulled over. Despite uh, the stereotypes around melanized people, hmm? I uh, have yet to experience that. So, let's go. Yeah. All right. I know where I'm at now. I don't need the blue line no more. All my videos have been doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to see more like just me kind of yapping in the car for whatever reason, if you like that kind of content, let me know. Drop a like. Subscribe. A lot of, most people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So what's the deal with that? Why are you watching me if you're not subscribed? Let's, let's let's grow up a little bit, huh? Just click the button, bro. Help me out. The best way to support me is through the Patreon and Twitch. I would I would very much appreciate if you guys subbed me on Twitch. You can sub for free with Twitch. I mean, uh, Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, Prime. If you have. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and sub for free. And that way, you know, you get some special benefits that just regular chatters don't get. And you get to support me, you know. So it's it's a win-win, bro. It's a win-win. Alright, we're pulling up on Canes right now. This is gonna be good. You know, I was thinking of, like, recording my workouts. But, oh shit, hold on. I don't know if I just did something. Fuck. Hold on, I'm not trying to crash at this intersection. Ugh. Um, I was thinking of recording my workouts, but I don't know, I feel kind of awkward, like just going into the gym, I'm, like setting up a fat ass tripod for my fat ass camera, and then just like recording myself work out and talking at the same time. I don't know, I just feel like I'm not that kind of guy, you know? I'll record, like, if I if I had somebody to go with me, like a gym partner, then sure, why not? But I don't, so no. Oh, fuck. Camera move, bro. I'm trying to get my damn money. I'm trying to get my money! Feel around, feel around. Got it. Yes, sir. This is my order for canes. What? Crusty ass window. All right, can I do the Caniac combo, please? Okay, what would you like for the people that? I'll take a lemonade. Okay. 
Can it come with the lemonade? Yeah, and can I ever? Yeah, can I replace the coleslaw with another sauce, please? Okay. And that'll be it. All right, can I come on the slice yourself with the lemonade? It's gonna be, uh, excuse me, uh, seventeen fifty-three at the last window. Thank you. All right, thank you. Y'all hear that shit, bro? Seventeen dollars for a caniac? Hey, I don't give a fuck. It tastes good. Okay. All right. So the plan is to absolutely devour this canes, go home, take a shower, clean up for the stream, um, and stream. That's it. But uh, I appreciate y'all sticking with me through this uh, yap session, I guess. And uh, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment if I should do more of these. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later, bro.